We're back to the Neil Haley Show and excited to welcome my co-host, Paul Hollis, author of the Hollow Man series and senior and seniors publishing and all these other businesses. How are you, Paul? And I know you're excited about our guests from Australia, right? Absolutely. We have uh, Paul Rushworth Brown with us today. He is a fantastic uh, historical fiction writer. Uh, he has a, a trilogy out just now, right? The, the last book is out now. And uh, and he's going to tell us all about the, the whole trilogy there. So welcome, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Hello, Neil. How are you? All right. So let's talk about how this all started for you in writing. Kind of explain it to me. Okay. So um, oh, about three years ago, well, I've always been a history nerd. Um, about three years ago, I started delving into um, my family history and traced my furthest away ancestors back to 1590 in a small village in New Yorkshire called Howarth. And um, a year later, I thought, you know, who was this guy? This Thomas Rushworth uh, from 1590. Um, and uh, so I actually did a lot of research and I, I wanted to know he was a peasant living on the moors of Yorkshire and I wanted to know how he actually lived. And then uh, that, from that research, I actually uh, um, turned that into sort of like a, 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 a whodunit, 1590. And, um, you know, a little bit of romance, a little bit of spice, a little bit of... Um, um, yeah, very, very uh, authentic and uh, and researched accurately and um, to the point. And that was the birth of Skull Dugry, the uh, the first novel in the uh, in the trilogy. Absolutely. Um. So let's go. Uh. Once you decided to write it, what kind of gave you the ideas for your book? Um. Well, <laughs> a lot of people ask me that because. Um, and it's, uh, you know, like when I write, I, I never do any planning or anything. I just start writing and then you know, having a, a, a sort of like crazy imagination as I do. Just one thing led to another. And and this uh, Tommy Ru Thomas Rushworth um, had a family. And uh, basically what I've done is I've, I've um, built up a whole um, historical, um, I suppose, uh, whodunit and thriller um, around is around his family, which which I you know, I, mean, I mean I traced the Thomas Rushworth, but I really didn't know much about who his family was. But um, it, you know, he was a copy holder on on the uh, on, on the moors of Yorkshire, and I've been there. And my God, what a what a what a uh, a difficult difficult place it would have been to uh, to live back in back in the 16th century. So I don't know if I asked, asked answered your question then. <laughs> No, you definitely did. Like creating characters, how did that? How does that work when you create characters and develop characters? Um, that's something uh, you know, like um, you, you know, you, after the third novel, um, I mean, I actually went back and I rewrote uh, Skull Buggery, and um, it's something that uh, you know you, you definitely get uh, better and better at as as um, as Paul would know as um, as you uh, as you continue writing over a period of three years but how i develop them is just uh um you know just from from you know tommy rushworth or thomas rushworth you know he'd, he'd have a little bit of me and him he'd have a little bit of my father um obviously um having, having a, a, a good imagination uh helps and um yeah they just uh they just develop with with the story um and um you know, like Tom, Tommy Rushworth is, is 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 just a young boy, and his father dies from consumption, um, and he's basically left with the uh, the tenancy of this ten acre plot um, that he has to go to the steward of the manor and 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 try and keep. And um, you know, it, but basically, you see a young man um, who's trying to um, survive on the moors of Yorkshire see a young man develop from a boy into a man over that period of time and with that there you know there's a romance and there's a there's a uh there's a uh a, a really interesting marriage you know because um once i started researching the way they do do, do marriage back in the 16th century is totally different the customs and that to obviously what we what we do today so that's a very very interesting component of um of, of, of the story what are your what is your hope for the trilogy of your three books? Oh, 
HBO. It's just made for HBO. <laughs> you know, I mean, the interesting thing is, you know, like with uh, uh, things like uh, Poldark and Vikings and and uh, those those types of uh, of shows, um, you know, people love those sort of like uh, that, that, that type of miniseries. And the trilogy itself is actually, you know, like, I mean, it deserves to be on the screen without sort of like, uh, I suppose, bragging or anything. It, it, it's a story that deserves to be on the screen. So I'm just, I'm just waiting. It's waiting, man. Right? <laughs> you got to wait for sure. And the process and getting it out there. And so ultimately looking at to get it on screen is such a important part of the process and your fans are your fans. Or what what is the feedback with your fans that have read all three books well the third one comes out on november 22nd right so um you know it's being splashed across uh social media i only just got the uh the final formatted copy yesterday um so that comes out on november november 22nd but um yeah it's eagerly awaited um you know like uh um from had a advanced readers copy sent out to a to a number of a number of uh, people that a number of uh, readers, and they loved it. They can't wait for it to uh, to get out there. Great. All right. Well, that, it's such an interesting thing, Paul. Any questions? No. I, I this is. I mean, it's a fascinating series. I've I've uh, talked to Paul before, and and uh, it it's uh, definitely a series on my list to read. Um, it, it's uh, it, it, historical fiction, as you know, with, with mine is closer historical fiction, but but I, I love historical fiction. So and I and Paul has done a terrific job on on actually putting his whole family in the books and, and moving them forward through time. So. Yeah. Um, so the, the the third one, the second one is called uh, 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 Winter of Red. Or sorry, 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 sorry. Red Winter Journey, and the third one's called Dream of Courage, and uh, I, I'm really excited about Dream of Courage because it's uh, it's more of a uh, a thriller. It's a um, it's a thriller set in the early 1700s, and uh, that's probably a little bit um, more, uh, I suppose, pr progressive than than the other two, where um, the story actually takes place in sort of like larger cities and. Obviously, back in that time in England, there was cutthroats, there was pirates, there was um, high women. So there's, you know, there's a touch of that in it, and uh, there's a very, very, uh, very, very uh, brutal character in there by the name of uh, Jacob Walding, and uh, I'm very interested in, in seeing how people react to this, this brutish fellow. Great. All right, great. Where's the best place people can find information on you, purchase your book, and learn more about you? Uh, so there's a website. Uh, probably the easiest way to get in there is to um, to go, uh, do a search on Google, Howarth, H-A-W-O-R-T-H, backslash, Skullduggery, backslash, Australia. And the, without, there's even a, uh, a, a free copy of, of Skullduggery on there for people to go to the website. All right. People need to check that out so then they can go and read one of them, right? And then get to yep. then buy all the rest of the books and read oh, the whole so. series for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate it, sir. Thanks again. See you guys. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. And we'll be back in just a moment.